Hey y'all, this is Legina Ray with LaRay Infinity Audio Productions and I am here with... George Engelman. George, we missed each other last time at the ESI Summit, so I'm so glad we're together. Like Everybody's like, y'all have to talk. So I'm so excited to talk to you tonight, but before we dive into sustainability, I want to know three things that describe you as a human right now. Well, uh, I am quite pumped. You know, we've got, got a lot of momentum behind our program, and so... Uh, driving forward and, and enthusiastic about the kinds of opportunities that we've been able to share with some of our stakeholders and, and their reception to that uh, is has been absolutely energizing. So we're just on it and rolling. I love that. On it and rolling. And you said driving forward. What do you think that you were doing and all of y'all are doing right now to really drive the sustainability initiative forward? So... In the sustainability side, what we've spent our time working on since the ESI Summit was identifying different opportunities around the United States and then even well, and focused actually here on Texas where our technology can be most readily deployed for the, for the greatest beneficial impact. And so what the, the results that have come back from some of this desk work that we've done and, and looking at what's possible and what opportunities, it's really exciting because it is so within reach. Mm -hmm. It really is so in reach. I love how you say desk work, because you know it's kind of like being in higher ed and you study about it and then you have to go practice. And Kenneth was breaking down the technology technology to me last time and he's talking about the waves and it can go under. And he's like, the around the ocean is some of the best spots to implement stuff first. And so the, the fact that you're in Galveston right now, what does that mean to you? Who are some of the stakeholders that are really helping you push the needle forward? So, Galveston, first off, is, is kind of a point of origin for my career, uh, even for this technology, this, this wave-driven energy technology. Uh, the original devices were actually deployed right out here in front of the Galvez Hotel uh, about 15 years ago okay. and ran a program that was supervised by Texas A&M University, and it was basically to validate how it works and that it works and they were able to measure the power performance and they were able to measure the waves and and so there was a, a real a real waypoint a significant waypoint in the journey of the sea dog right and that was right here it was actually ken and his team stayed in this hotel while they did surveillance on the device out off of the pier yeah so there's that and for me personally, um, I actually studied ocean engineering at Texas a and University in Galveston. So, you know, I always wanted to be by the sea. I actually chose my school so I would be close to the sea. I chose my program to ensure that my career kept me close to the sea, and all that's worked out really well. So that's where, that's where we're coming from. It really has worked out. That's like full circle. Yeah. Like the work that you began, you're still doing, and now there's this ball rolling, and you're having galas and summits around this information. So if you could speak to general body, our people watching, what would you tell them to help move the sustainability initiative forward in a realistic way? The best thing that, that I would recommend somebody do at this point is just to get educated, yeah. right? And, and to do so means read, read deeper than the headlines, yeah. you know, and, and dig deeper than what is put in front of your eyes, okay? I mean, advertising and marketing is a very powerful thing. Like, we know that. And, and the point is that because anything that can be used for good can be used for something else, right? And so you have to, and I would just say buyer beware. So you, you see advertisements for free solar panels if you sign a piece of paper and send it to DC, you know, and there's no such thing as free, okay? and. Apart from the fact that people want to believe that because it's the sun, it's good, or because it's the wind, it's good, or because it's this, it's bad, or because it's that, it's bad. When in fact, there's a whole, we've got a whole lot more going for us, technologically speaking, in energy generation space that's beyond headlines of wind is good, solar is good, coal is bad, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Right. It's not, it's not, there's no absolute. It's not like, flat. You can't just know it, not at all. And so people would be wise to educate themselves. Right now, what we do is that we really go out of our way to try to make sure that we take those salient points, stuff that's going to resonate with a person and compel them to go and look a little bit deeper. Right. And that's 
that's really where my mission is at, is that I've identified technologies that work. Okay, using all the expertise of my 30 years in energy and working offshore and in love with the ocean, taking all of that together, and I'm really at kind of an intersection in my life where all that I've done in the past has found itself right here, right here on a point, and this is what I've discovered is how it works. So, you know, this, the technology behind energy creation using our systems is superb. And it's very, it's absolutely sustainable, scorecarded against anything, and it's, it's better. It's better. It's better. Period. <laughs> All right, y'all, my name is Legina Ray. I'm here with George. We finally got to connect, and we're about to go inside and get started. Thank you so much. My I appreciate pleasure. you. Thank and you. we're signing off, y'all. LRI Audio. Peace.